Throughout my life, I've never been able to find the perfect haircut. So after getting told I have silly hair, I knew something needed to change. My hair, to be specific. So I'm testing every single haircut in hopes to find the perfect one. When I started my first YouTube channel, this was my haircut. That was back in 2017, and since then I've tried so many different haircuts, which I will be going through the history of, and attending the funeral. It's a sad day to be my hair. My hair was crazy and I loved it. I did not care what people thought about it. It was my hair and I thought it was awesome. And as you can see, the spikier the hair, the better. Maybe I wanted to look taller or something, or maybe I was just a loser. Probably the second one. I also had no eyebrows for the first 11 years of my life because of how blonde I was. Um, so it looked like I had a massive forehead. I also used to wear this Brooklyn hoodie back in like 2017, like, all the time. It was the only thing I wore, it was the only article of clothing I loved so much and I still have it. It's like, it's a part of my YouTube history now. Yeah, I don't know if I would get this haircut again because I feel like lightning would strike me as soon as I walked outdoors. So then in 2018, a new hairstyle grew and that was the comb over. Yeah. I never considered this haircut to be a comb over when I had it from like 2018 to roughly about 2020, but looking back at it now, it's definitely a comb over. It was really short and like super short on the side. I also chose this photo because it just makes me laugh. Like why am I giving the camera a knuckle sandwich? I feel like these types of haircuts, especially straight hair, were really in in the early 2000s and they've just kind of grown out of style and there's not many options nowadays for guys with straight hair. <sighs> Being a white man's hard. My hair is straight, like actually pretty pin straight most of the time, believe it or not. But believe it because it's true. Damn, dude, my skin looks smooth. Uh, my hair is a little more textured now because I like scruff it up and add some sea salt spray, but for the most part, yeah, it's pretty straight. Just like me. Also, when I first got this haircut, I asked for a line. A line meaning that the barber just took off all the clips, used the razor and went up and down on a line where my hair parted. It was cool back in the day, okay? Also, I remember getting a, like a lightning bolt on the side of my head and that shit was legendary. The reason why you should never do the line haircut though is because it stays there forever. I still have the fucking line till this day. Like when my hair is short, it's visible. So should I get this haircut again? Shit no. After the pandemic of doom, I thought, hey, I might as well grow my hair out and look ugly because no one's gonna see me anyway. And that is exactly what I did when I decided to part my hair down the middle. I had curtains for a brief but interesting period in 2021 and I, I thought they were actually okay. This photo shows how perfectly symmetrical I thought my dumbass hair needed to be. I just see the goddamn McDonald's sign every time I look at it now. <laughs> the ladies were just begging to get a look at my curtains. Gross. Anyway, as you will shortly see, these were just kind of a test to see how these would eventually look. And I don't know, dude, I feel like they're not that bad. Short curtains absolutely suck. They always get in your eyes. They're really hard to style and they just kind of look like poo. I definitely walked into school thinking that I look like the shit with this perfectly symmetrical middle part. Um, and looking at it three years later, I was definitely the shit. <sighs> Man, I cannot believe I am putting this next photo on the internet. Basically around November of 2021, oh, I was going through some mental health issues, which will be blaringly obvious when you see this next hairstyle. So for some reason, I'm dumb. I thought it would be funny if I got a bowl cut. My sister put a bowl on my head and cut around it and I was listening to Oliver Tree as she did that and back then I was like, oh my god, this is gonna be so funny and um, looking back, this shit's hilarious. I think it was my last day of school and I went in with this haircut because I'm in my uniform and I remember bringing a comb too. It is glaringly obvious that I was going through mental health issues here. So how long did this haircut last? One day. I had this haircut for one day. Later that night, I moved into phase two of my plan, and that was to see what I would look like with a buzz cut. I feel like everybody once in their life has to try a buzz, because some people just look amazing with it. Unlike me. Comment, bring the buzz back if you want me to buzz cut my hair again, and I'll do it. I'm crazy. Coming from me, the guy in the photo. I hate it. I don't think the buzz cut worked for me, maybe because my 
eyebrows aren't super thick and my jawline isn't titanium. I don't know, it just wasn't for me. And after doing it, I wore hats and caps for like the next few months because I just hated it. I don't regret it though, especially because if it did look good, then I mean, it would have been a great, you know, re revelation. That's the word. I also cut it because my hair grows really fast. It's also super thick, so I didn't really have to worry about, you know, buzzing it off and it taking years to come back. Anyways, after this whole kerfuffle, I began to start feeling a lot better about my appearance and my life, and I uh, ended up starting Ben Bloom, which helped a lot, um, which is this channel, by the way. Thanks for pointing that out, Nimrod. Shut up, Kevin. You can see this through some of my videos in 2022, but my hair slowly but surely started to grow back and change. And one of my favorite looks, which I think encapsulates that year a little better, is the return of spike yeah so my hair ended up doing this kind of full circle moment where it returned back to this spiky version which i had when i was about 11 years old uh except this time there's a lot less hair gel what i love the most about this haircut is just how goddamn easy it was sure the buzz cut was the epitome of easy but i looked like the head of a penis so with this more scruffy kind of spiked up style i looked less like a penis and more like a pussy magnet <laughs> So I'm actually gonna put this down as a maybe, but I don't know if I can pull it off anymore with my fastly approaching receding hairline. Later on in 2022, my hair just magically parted back into curtains. The middle part came back, baby, and it honestly wasn't too bad. The longer middle part, as it would become later on in 2022, was all right. Uh, I actually really liked it because there was more waves and texture to it in comparison to the really symmetrical version in like 2020. There are more waves and texture to it and I think over time my hair is getting more blonde and uh, wavy which is very nice. Very nice. I know Borat came out the year I was born, but I only watched it very recently, so it's super funny for me. I just love having this channel to document myself over the years, and it will be just really cool to see me eventually decay. I also remember that I have like a cowlick, I think on my right side, which was really annoying with curtains because one side would go up and the other side would kind of flop down. Luckily I didn't get a line <laughs> down the middle because oh my God. That would have sucked ass. After the curtains had overstayed their welcome, I decided that I wanted to get something new. And that was the messy friend. Someone actually commented recently saying that it looked like I had a wig or like a pompadour. How could you suck? Okay, fine. I kind of see it here. I also did the eyebrow slip for a while and that was kind of fire. Emphasis on the kinda. I actually have no clue how I got my hair to swoop up so perfectly for this look, but I actually really love it. It looks so stoned in this photo, my goodness. My biggest problem though with the messy fringe is that it just wasn't consistent because sometimes it would look like I had this lovely hair that would float in a wind and other times it would look like, yes, a wig. Keep in mind that the photos I chose were the ones that encapsulate, good word, my hair the best, but my hair did not look like that every day of the week. Now moving into 2024, the year of our Lord and Savior, whatever the whatever the fuck this haircut is. I would describe this current haircut as the kind of messy, like fluffy, possibly rat infested fringe. Some days it looks like amazing like hair, and then other days I wake up and look in the mirror and I have to fight the urge to shave it all off. When it's messier and curlier, I think it looks the best, but some days after, you know, shampooing and conditioning it, it looks like a wet towel. It's just unpredictable, but I do love it. And I think some days it just looks amazing and it's probably the best haircut out of all of the haircuts that I've had. It's just a bit of a David Hasselhoff to deal with because of the length. Everyone with really long hair just rolled their eyes at me so hard. I like kind of the contrast between the short sides in this photo and the longer top. Um, but also in videos like my AI girlfriend app video, I really like how long it is on the top and sides because it kind of uh, matches and stays consistent. When growing out here, it's hard to know if it's in an ugly phase or it's just ugly. But in order to find the perfect haircut for my face and hair type, I need to go where no man ever makes it out alive. The There are so many YouTube videos on men's haircuts and which ones are trendy, which ones are in right now, which ones are not in right now. And I thought I would just look at a bunch of these so we can get a good idea of what haircuts I should avoid. Picture this, you walk into a barber shop, you show your barber a picture of the hairstyle you want. But when the haircut is over and he's showing you his work through the mirror, it looks nothing like you thought it would. Does this guy know 
who I am. I swear to God, this has happened to me like so many times. I'm sure you guys have seen these charts before that show a variety of hairstyles. Oh, okay. How to find the best hairstyle for your face shape. So there's a bunch of different face shapes. Oval, square, oblong, triangle, round, diamond, heart. And then a bunch of haircuts under it that I guess match up with it. What is my face shape? It's probably an oblong one because my face is pretty strange. So under that, there's the side part I've done before. Buzz cut, also done before. Fringe up, yeah, that's the spike, which I've done before. And the side fringe, which I've also kind of done before. Oh my god, there's a bug on my light! Um, there was a like, I think, I don't think it was a mosquito, but there was a bug that was like directly on my light and it was freaking me out, so I think I killed it, but I don't know. Where was I? Oh yes, hair shapes. Yeah, what? I don't think any of those work, because I've tried all of those before. Even on the ones like the oval shape, maybe the pushback long, because I think my hair could be... An oval, my face could kind of be an oval shape. I want you to never look at these charts again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you could have fucking told me that before I spent 10 minutes dissecting them. They are completely useless. Yeah, thanks for that. Another major problem you'll run into on your quest of finding the perfect hairstyle. Does this guy know me? I, I'm getting a bit scared now. This app is a really cool app that will let you try out different hairstyles by uploading a picture of yourself. You can see how you would look like bald, or with curly hair, or with long hair. Which is what I'm gonna do very shortly. When you go to a higher end stylist, this is what you're paying for. A hairstyle tailored to you by a professional. This is by far the best method of finding your perfect hairstyle. I just sped it up a bit, but he basically just said that the best method to finding your perfect type of hairstyle is to go to an expensive barber. Why is everything pay to win? Honestly, that video had some pretty solid advice, um, but some of it was just like, you gotta pay a lot, you gotta, you know, practice a lot of these skills and you just got to try a bunch of stuff out. And you also can't use that stupid face shape identifier. That does nothing. You could have told me that though, like before I spent a few minutes looking at it. <laughs> I'm going to show you what hairstyles you should have depending on your face shape. I thought the other guy told me not to think about that, but okay, let's hear him out. To start, I need you to grab a tape measure and measure the distance between the outer edges of your eyes for cheek width. <sighs> Do I have to actually get a tape measure? Oh. Forgot I used this last night. So I have to measure the distance from Ow. here to to here. 19 centimeters. The distance between your chin and the outer edge of your ear. So 19 centimeters for my across my face. 15 for my from my chin to my ear. And the distance from your hairline to your chin tip. Um, that is 20. Then take those four measurements and input them into a face calculator like the one I'm using called Omni Face Calculator. Uh. I already forgot the measurements. Forehead width, okay, it was 20. It was 20 centimeters. Uh, cheeks width, it was ah, 19. Jawline length, 15. And face length, that's about 20. Oh, forehead width is this. This should not be this complicated for me. How sharp are your features? Well, you know, I would say they're pretty sharp. Yeah, they're pretty round, actually. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say my face is somewhat, you know? It's not full, it's not round, it's definitely not sharp. Face shape. You have a heart-shaped face. <laughs> you have a heart-shaped face. Don't forget to select your sex at the top. <laughs> I love sex. <laughs> I got the heart face shape. Okay, so let's look up. Even though apparently these metrics are garbage. Heart face shape. Okay, so if this website's accurate and I actually have a heart face shape, I'm gonna figure out which one is the best. Lymphy fringes, okay. The side part, elaborate pushback, fringe, I don't know. Layers with texture, maybe. It's it's really hard to know. The slick back hair or not. And I don't know, that is trendy spikes. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. And if you have a rectangular face, you should go <laughs> I don't think that was very helpful to be honest. Oh my god, I remember something. I actually just remember something, holy shit. On my old account, somewhere on my like Google Drive, <laughs> I think I had this like video of me. Wait. Yeah, 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 there it is. Wait, this is it. I just want to warn you that before you see this video, I am a changed man, okay? Um, I may still be dumb, but at least I can recognize how dumb I was. <laughs> Why did I make that? <laughs> I have no clue why I made this video. I think this was like a TikTok trend. I'm pretty sure. How to start hair maxing to make yourself more attractive. Oh my god, okay. The most popular looks maxers all got hairstyles that match their face shape. So let's open up UMAX to see what it recommends for mine. I have a diamond face shape, so it recommends I get a lengthy middle part. 
The way this guy's looking at me is seriously freaking me out. How to start hair maxing to make yourself more attractive. This hairstyle took me from a 71 to an 88. <laughs> what the hell? There's an app that ranks your sexiness? Wait, what? Okay, I'm installing this right now. So this is the app that guy was talking about. It's called Umax Become Hot. Create your account. This is, I'm so ashamed that I have to link my Google account to this. Take daily progress pictures. Okay, let me take a selfie right now. Okay, that's a little weird, but a nice selfie of me. If this is making me pay, I swear to God. Load a side selfie. I can't believe I'm genuinely doing this. Oh, are you goddamn serious? Reveal your results, invite free friends, or get Umax Pro to view your results. If I sent this to free friends, I think I would lose all of them immediately. Okay, that app sucks. I'm not doing that. I think I've learned enough about the hair maxing community, <laughs> which I didn't know existed. The hair shapes and types that, you know, can help to find out your haircut, which apparently are unnecessary and garbage. I think it's time that I actually try out some of these hairstyles. All right, so I think that to get a better representation of what my hair might look like with these styles, I would install some apps and see if the hair filters actually work, which they probably won't. I installed three of these apps and the first one is called Hairstyle Changer. Okay, so makeup, photo editor, and beautiful girls hairstyles. They're short, long, straight, curl and personal oh and then we've got handsome boy hairstyles so short <laughs> long ah. straight curl and personal again so what do i do there's also ai which is awesome oh come on <laughs> what this is the stupidest app ever oh my god maybe i need a photo of myself with like my hair pushed back okay so this <laughs> <laughs> it's looking a little better. <laughs> it looks so stupid. Oh my god, I would not talk to that guy. I could also do a buzz cut. Let's see that. Okay. Ooh. That one's kind of alright. Yeah, I just... This just is very disturbing. Oh, that's the worst one by far. Okay, what do I look like as a woman? Um... Smash. It doesn't help with the face I'm making too. See, that, that one's like bearable, but I still hate it. I think it's time to move on to app number two. Holy shit. I'm kind of gorgeous. <laughs> what? No, it's actually not that bad, like, to be honest. Oh, God. I'm not paying 20 bucks a week. I'm sorry. Oh, you can't even do any of them. You have to pay for literally every single haircut. I'm actually going to have to pay for this. Please like and subscribe because I am spending 20 of my hard-earned dollars on this absolute garbage. Uh, why? <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> what the fuck? I actually need to remember to cancel this thing or I'm... <laughs> I don't know, there's some reason this seems like false to me, but these aren't that bad. That $20 was so worth it. Oh my god. I am getting a call. As I was in the middle of filming, I got not one, but two calls. Turns out there had been some suspicious activity connected directly to my credit card uh, from, you guessed it, the hair app. I legitimately like freaked out for a second and thought that someone had like hacked into my account and stolen my money. So I was so relieved uh, when I found out the person who really stole my money was me. <laughs> this is so stupid. I just got a call from the bank because they thought that someone else had like illegally like hacked into my account or some shit. I had to tell them that I bought this app that lets me change hairstyles. Do you know how embarrassing that was for me? Even the bank was like, dude, that quiff is atrocious. I don't know if this, um, I could pull this one off. Okay, no. Long hair, no. This one's called Bad Boy. Fuck yeah, that's a bad boy right there. Shit, that boy is bad. I love how this one's just called Haircut. Um, and yeah, that describes it pretty well. And then Bangs, yeah, looks really good. Uh, I actually look like a fucking player with this shit. Dude, I look like I've surfed some insane ocean gnar. Um, yeah, no, it just looks strange to me. I don't, I... I really don't like it. Okay, man bun is not doing it for me. Bowl cut? Oh, shit. Um, yeah. I don't think this is culturally appropriate. Okay, so I guess out of all these haircuts, I think the best one. This honestly might be the best haircut out of all of them on here. Like, I like this kind of longer, you know, more curly, more wavy kind of hair, which I don't really have, but I feel like I could kind of achieve this sort of look. Well, that app was strange, but I don't think it's going to be any more strange than try on hairstyles, which, um, 
<laughs> I have no idea what's going on in this photo. Oh wow, it looks amazing. Can I even put a photo of myself? Okay, take a photo. Alright, so here we go. Yeah, this app kind of sucks. Oh man, that one looks really good. <laughs> so after looking at free apps and spending $20 of my hard-earned cash, I ended up with this hairstyle. However, I do need to narrow down my options, and I think the best way of doing that is by using... Pinterest has so much ideas of hair types and styles that you can get, and I use it quite a lot for things like this. Half the time you just compare yourself to people that are way hotter than you, but it's still good. Now we're gonna look at a few photos and we're gonna try and figure out what haircut uh, will work the best. So I have it open here. There's a lot of like curly kind of um, wavy haircuts that a lot of these guys have that I think look quite good. This haircut is crazy, but there's no way in hell I can pull this off. This one too is cool because it's kind of my similar hair type, but it's just a bit more messy and scruffy. I don't know if I can pull that off though, dude. I have no clue. I don't know if this is the same as that. Did this guy get arrested for being too beautiful? Hair, oh, style, hairstyles by pattern. Protective, coily, curly, wavy, straight, and bold. So if I click on wavy hairstyles, let's see what comes up. Okay, just some of the most gorgeous men I've ever seen. <laughs> is this guy a real man or is this an AI generated image? Because what the hell? You can actually look like that? I've got some work to do. Beauty standards nowadays are so hard to like live up to, like especially for women. But men too, you gotta be like jacked and have this perfect luscious hair and a chiseled jawline. It's like, come on, that's not gonna happen for most guys. Yeah, maybe I could pull this one off, but I'm not too sure. This shit is sick. I wish I could do that. I mean, maybe I can actually. It seems pretty similar to my hair. It's kind of similar, like it's- I don't want a mullet, okay? I do not like mullets. I just want something that's kind of... <laughs> I go into a barber and I tell them I want the eh. So after comparing myself to much hotter men on Pinterest- There's actually men in this world that look like this. Like, how am I supposed to compete? I spent a lot more time scrolling through Pinterest to eventually narrow it down to five remaining hairstyles. Yeah, and the shorter haircuts too are like easier to pull off and maintain. So this one's quite nice. Okay, this one, this one might be good. You know, I have had a few compliments of people saying, man, you look exactly like Brad Pitt from Fight Club. And I know, I'm just like, ugh. I get that all the time. This one might work, but I might have to grow my hair and ears out a little bit. Shout out Emma Chamberlain, because she kind of gave me the idea for this video with a video called Hair Fairy, and it's an amazing watch. Also, your comments really got to me, as you can tell by this whole video. <laughs> I can handle them, I'm just kidding. What the hell is that? Yeah, you know, I reckon I could pull this one off. I think I made it to the bottom of Pinterest. Okay, I think I've got my five hairstyle types and now all I have to do is narrow it down to one. Firstly, we have the haircut that I kind of currently have right now, but uh, pulled off by a much more attractive person. Isn't this guy just dreamy? He looks so good, it's actually pissing me off. Why am I feeling this way? <laughs> uh, yeah, so basically what I would do to do this is grow up my hair out a little more so it's down here. I uh, try and uh, maybe, I don't, I don't want to get a perm because I know as soon as I I get a perm uh, all my hair is gonna grow back because it grows real fast and it's just gonna be straight and some of it's gonna be look curly and it's gonna look all weird so that's probably not something I want to try but I mean maybe one day secondly we have the short sides and short top now there's not many haircuts when your hair is pretty straight so this is kind of one that I would go back to which I have kind of done before but I feel like this time I could add a bit of blonde I could add a bit of texture and it might look a lot better. Also, this one just seems like it's really easy to deal with and you don't have to, it doesn't get in your face and get in your way and it looks really nice. So that's option number two. Option number three is back to the middle part. I know these are just haircuts I've already done, but like, yeah, I don't know what else. This though, I haven't really done. I haven't gone this long with the curtains. I had them quite short and then I had them not too long, not anything around this length. But I really like the way it looks on this guy. Option number four is from my boy Danny Gonzalez. Now he has this kind of uh, swoop over, but it's it goes up and over. I know nothing about hair, okay? <laughs> but it's it's not long, it's like medium length, which is kind of what I have, and it, it just goes up and over. And option number five, the bleached buzz. I have always wanted to do this. I ended up doing the buzz cut as you've seen, but I never bleached it. And I feel like the Eminem kind of uh, slim shady look actually kind of works well. I don't think it would work well on me because I know I don't like the way I look in a buzz cut. 
but maybe if it was bleached, it would give it some more like pizzazz. It would rock the house. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure with this, but it's it's an option and I think I know which one I'm gonna do. As I sat down to figure out which haircut I was gonna give myself, I realized that this whole experiment completely missed the point because there's not just one haircut that can encapsulate who I am as a person since every day my hair changes and so do I. I don't even know how I'm gonna look in one, three, five or shit even 10 years from now and that is beautiful. So everybody's telling me how I should look but how do I want to look? Well, silly is a good start.